Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Ravita. We are on Shard 4, Ascension 4, a.k.a. Loop 4, New Game Plus 4, whatever. You know, you get the picture. Uh, Shard 1 gave us enemy bullet speed up. Shard 2 gave us enemy HP up. Shard 3 gave us enemy speed up. And now Shard 4. Rooms might have multiple enemy waves, which is certainly the most game-changing. However, this, uh, this does pose an interesting concept. We probably get more souls. Right? Why wouldn't we, right? So this, this is kind of a weird one. This is kind of a weird one. If you are playing well, this is a benefit, right? If you're playing well, this is a benefit. The potential downside is... Oh, that's right. We have the, the Celeste item we got to figure out. Uh, what if they spawn in ways that are more problematic? Oh, max HP. You know, wait. Increases your max HP if you can beat an area without dashing once? An area? I've probably already dashed. Whoa. An area? That's not a room. That is a that is a big no for me. We are we are not gonna be doing that. That seems like a uh, like a nightmare waiting to happen. Oh my god, I just squeaked right under that. See, like, I've already wanted to, to dash so many times. I mean, boy, it sure as heck is a pretty interesting proposition, but... And I like that it's kind of like a challenge mode built into an item. But it's like, is the reward necessarily good enough? Uh... I mean... Yeah, I think it I think it probably is. Not is? I don't know. I have no idea. That's a that's a weird one for sure. I do not know where I lie on that. Cause in a sense that's like really good. Potentially free value if you're I, I feel like I don't know. Here's my issue with it. Here's my issue with it as an item. It's a win more item. Which are often considered fun, but not super strong. You know, uh, if you're doing well enough to be able to clear an entire zone without dashing a single time, you probably have enough damage and survivability to be okay regardless, right? So, how necessary is it? Ooh, this is nice. Blue boy. Ember Pearl summons an orbiting fireball around the player upon defeating an enemy. Also 10% damage up, right? What? Damage 10%. Summons an orb orbiting fireballs around the player upon defeating an enemy. 10%. So it does 10% of our weapon damage as damage, I guess is more what it's saying. It, in all fairness, it does not say plus 10% damage. That is what I believe it would say if it did what I was thinking it was going to do for a second. I'm just going to sacrifice one here. Uh, your bullets have a chance to inflict fear and deal more damage and deal more damage to corrupted enemies. Okay. That is really good. Hold on. That's really good. I mean, it, obviously we don't get corrupted enemies unless we get cursed. But what is kind of nice is it's a good item anyways, right? If they're, if they're feared, what does that mean exactly? Do they run? Oh, that was close. So glad there was not a second wave there. Uh, does that mean they run away from us, I would assume? That's like that's the logical conclusion. They run away from us. We an entire area without dodge. Dang, that's a that's a spicy challenge. I'll admit, I, I like that it exists. Cause yeah, it, it is. It's a built-in challenge run, like baked straight into the game. 
clicked out of my window. I could have sworn I... Am I crazy? How did I click out of my window? Oh, I clicked out of my window again. How's that possible? Weird. Oh. Oh. No. Uh, that's really good. I really like that. I really, really like that chop. Super, super nice. Because now I can... Uh, I can feel okay sacrificing two max heart containers if we keep this amount of extra HP. Okay, so there's... Yeah, there's them bad boys. We've not gotten a single uh, multiple wave yet. My guess is... Because I have been informed that some of the... Uh, some of the shards start to duplicate at a certain point. And, you know, like it's a gradual thing where... Uh, like the, I think the bullet speed will probably go up again. The enemy speed will probably go up again. I imagine the chance to uh, have... Yeah, okay, so he runs away from us. That's really good. I like that. It might make it a little bit harder to do... Uh, to uh, catch enemies for our combo. Maybe. That's about dang time. We're, we're sitting at base damage. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So I probably want to hold off on my uh, my extra HP here. On using my extra HP right now. I think it is. Wait. No. Thought I thought I heard it. Uh, I, well, maybe sacrifice two hearts. I'm not sure. Like I don't know if I want to increase the curse or not the curse. What is it called? The, the item that, you know, is doing that curse thing. And th this fire thing, I actually think it might be okay. I think they get far enough away from me to actually be pretty decent. Ooh. Well, that's fun. I, I To this day, I don't think I've ever had this at a time where it's been relevant. So it's kind of fun to see. We have more soul meter now. So now we can stockpile longer without losing value. How good is it really to get an extra soul meter there? I'm gonna say like a bit, but not a lot. It's my it's my guess right now. Yeah, our damage right now is booty. Is booty. What does curse even do on you? What, 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 oh, oh, I was trying to look at the, the meter above his head. I don't think it does anything. Oh, that was weird. Weird placement there. Okay, so we can still see the red. What's that one that makes him red? Is there like, is it burn? I feel like burn makes him kind of orange. Because I was going to say, it might make it hard to see certain uh, certain attack patterns. Oh, I thought he was stopping in the middle there. He almost debated me big time there. Good, good, good. Oh. Okay. This is a little bit a little bit too close for comfort. How dashing was that 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 reward's not quite good enough, but it's like I, I think I think that's what I'm landing on. Like, I'm trying to because if it didn't include bosses, maybe that'd be a different story. But yeah, I'm just trying to see how I guess, I guess. I don't know. It's super weird. I will say no matter what. I really like the idea, and I like the item. Balance of it, who freaking knows, man? Who freaking knows? I feel like the reward maybe, maybe would have to be better. But that's pretty... Oh, thank the heavens, man. That's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like an achievement turned into an item. We're going to be debating this in, uh, in Zone 3. I mean, it's got to be an extra whole heart container. So, that, I mean, that's cool. But, I don't know. I don't know. All right, go to the right after this. Go to the right after this. Okay, so the fact that you can even... The fact that... Okay. The fact that you can upgrade it is interesting. Now that, actually... Oh, wait, but you have to sacrifice a heart container to get it? I don't know, man. That's I'm kind of
kind of not really a fan of this these upgrades here. I don't feel like we should sacrifice anything at all, to be honest, but oh well. Uh, should we... Should we heal? Yeah, we'll heal once. And we'll, we'll stockpile the other stuff. Because maybe, you know, maybe we'll get a heart container drop. Not a heart container, heart. An HP drop, you know? We might get one. So in that case, we would uh, not waste quite as much stuff. Ooh, please fear. Ooh, good. Yeah, the fear is actually really nice. That man, that's good. So it looks like we do need to be close to activate the fear. Ooh. King of Dodge. I still actually, yeah, I, I've never seen a second wave yet. So, so far, so far, it is the exact same as the last one up to this point. I mean, we'll get one at one point. It'll be when we least expect it, and it will body me as a result. Oh, God, this is not good. Oh, we missed a little bit of soul. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we're going to have to heal at some point here. I was kind of trying to consider saving up. Okay, so that's a secret room. But we can't open it up yet. Uh-oh. Oh, that was bad, but <laughs> we got through it, dude. Oh, King of Dodge. I'll take my hoodie now, please, for that. Oh, missed value. Yeah. See, that's what happens when you hold on to it for a little bit too long. I would also go as far as to say that that was suboptimal as well. Unless we get an item here that is worth upgrading, I would consider that to probably be suboptimal. Let's do a one heart trade. Yeah. What is it? 10%? Eh. If it upgrades to 20%, is it worth it then? I... Maybe, but I, I assume it upgrades to 15 and then 20. That's my my gut vibe. Nice. Still nice. Still nice, even though we got to pay to get in. Whoop. Sword of Leo, health up. Swing a fast and mighty sword that can even destroy most projectiles. The word most is spooky. Okay. I know it's a waste. I just want to try it out. It's a melee weapon that can destroy most projectiles, and we get an HP up. Pretty exciting there. Pretty exciting there indeed. I wish that this, uh, I almost wish this was upgraded or unlocked from the very start, or the game kind of like forced you to pick it as a first upgrade because it adds so much gameplay variety that I think people might be tricked into thinking that there's less or not gameplay variety uh combat variety yeah get combat variety I guess uh they might be tricked into thinking there's less combat variety to be had than there is because it's kind of a semi rare room semi semi rare room and it is down the unlock list a, a decent amount there, for sure. What is this? Is this finally a, a new NPC? Oh, nice. I think this is finally a new NPC, right? No, it's a full heal. Oh, I clicked out of my window again. I have the setting on. You guys saw it. I'm confused. I'm confused. Man, I really need... I, you know what? Okay, I'm tabbing out. I'm moving my recording window again. Because I... <laughs> that spot... Oh, God, this is... This is bad. The spot that I would click is roughly... Uh, ooh, where my uh, my stop recording button would be. Would be. So that's spicy. Oh, it's not Q? Oh, it's Shift. 
Oh, that's so cool. It looks like we can get it pretty often, too. We're almost there. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, we almost there. I don't know. The Celeste item might be better when there's more zones, but... Meh. Dang if I don't like the spirit of it. Second wave. Oh! Another wave. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not another wave. You just spawned it. It's trying to rely on the... Oh, shoot. This is stank. I know it's not instant poison. It's just spooky. We'll see. If it, you know, if it's a legendary chest or whatever, we'll definitely do it. Okay, it's a common. I'll be honest, some of the better items in the game feel like they're common. You know, let's do it, though. Not, not, not necessarily always, but there's a lot of them that are. No way. I know that we do extra damage versus cursed enemies, uh, but... A key every eight rooms? That's literally one key. That's one key for the rest of this entire run. No, I'm not taking that. Just to do extra damage to the uh, the enemies. What? Since when does this item exist? That's so cool. Joie? That's amazing. That is so good. Take damage in hearts, even if you have shit. Well, first of all, that's obscene. Take damage in hearts, even if you have shields. Why, though? I'm sure there's a way to benefit from this. You can heal those up. I guess that's the... I, I guess I can see it being good. I can see it. I can see it. I'm not going to take either of these for now. I don't know. I don't know the math on Poker Chip. Like, because it's... I'm not sure... Is it, does it only decrease the damage of the crits? Uh, or is it the damage of you in general? Because that makes a big difference. It's like a really big difference. Fine. So, like, it makes a really big difference. But oh well. We'll do that. Because there's no way we're sacrificing more more than uh, those, that amount of hearts. But we have so many shields right now, I feel pretty comfortable uh, making lots of different sacrifices. What do we? We got our sword. Got to remember to use it. Hey there, buddy. Okay, so it does like a little hit stun, or not a hit stun, a frame stun. I don't know where he is. Oh, shoot! That time I do. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. I feel like it's our base damage down. No, it's not. Must be our crit damage then. I mean, the sword's really cool. Is it damage penalty though? Kind of in a way, weird way. I feel like I got him up to under half before he aggroed. I mean, I'm not—I'm certainly not complaining. Woo, Nelly! Okay. So far, so far. Ah, we're good. 
We've done it. Oh. That is going to go longer there. I can't tell. Over here. All right. Not bad. Oh, did I almost get hit in the cutscene? That wouldn't, that wouldn't actually have done damage to me, though, right? Wait. We had... This is... No, it is minus 20 to us. We just conveniently were at plus 20 and I forgot. <laughs> oh, oh, that kind of... Eh, that's a little bad. It's a little bad. Probably gonna use my free upgrade on my... Uh, the fear item. Secret uncovered. Wait. Oh, King. King Rito McGee did that zone without taking damage, didn't he? So we got a free one. Yeah, I was right there. Get silly with it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We've done it. To the right he goes. To the right he goes. Yes. All right. So we have an eighty percent crit chance. So it's like, it's a rare occurrence for us to not crit. So crit chance must not be one of the stats that's over there. That or poker chip is bugged. <laughs> and we get a ten percent luck up. Again, there's probably an item in the game. If not, there probably will eventually be an item in the game that uh, makes it so something fancy happens on a crit. I can't remember if I've seen... I might have even seen one of those already. I can't recall. Oh. Yeah, we predominantly are critting here. I do love that that... Oh, we got a new item. Peaceful decoy. Neat stuff. Uh, also, we should... Before I forget, here. There. Proved it did not work. Proved it. Okay, okay. Yeah, we've only run into one extra wave this entire run. Oop. That was a jank moment for me. Oh, this sword is so nice. Ooh. Why not, right? Just play it baby safe. Good. We're at 1.2 for our uh, for our combo multiplier. That does not surprise me one bit that we are that low. Our damage is not amazing, and also this zone in particular does kind of make you play a little bit more baby safe. Okay. Should not have done that. So yeah, the fear definitely just makes them run away from you. Does not make them stop shooting at you. Yeah, we're we're so slow, like at killing. Our damage feels booty. Le Hondere, please. If you give me something that will kill me, I am mad. Chance of losing an additional key upon using one. That's fine. Bullets are slower. That is totally fine. So that yeah, the big uh, I guess the big reward from those chests is that they don't cost health. I guess that's the big gimmick that's beneficial about them. All right, where are we at on the map? We can't check. Wait, can we? We're like, how many rooms do we have left? If we can fill up the if we can fill up three times, we should definitely do the two bopper. 
I don't know if we can, though. Dashing at the last second before getting hit increases damage for a bit. Dashing at the last second. At the last second. Now, what does that mean, though? If it means dashing over a bullet, then boy, howdy, we are... Oop, we are in... I think we're going to be in a great spot. Oh, no. That was a bad room to get a double wave on. Our damage just does not feel great. Okay. Here, wet man. Number one concern. Why didn't I dash to the left? I don't know. Who knows? There goes the uh, the hitless achievement for this zone. Not that I was going to get it anyways. Does poker chips suck? Question mark. It's double upgraded, and I don't feel very... Like, I'm doing very well for damage. That room was way spicier than anything else we've had to face. Enemies that chase us down well... Whoop. Is a, is a problem, of course. When they can actually reach us. A lot of this game, there's a lot of platforms like this. So we can get away with things sometimes. Like, we can get away with not moving. But when they can reach home, oh, then it's a little bit more concerning. Ah, uh, is this a new item? Is it just straight up a new item? Because I've gotten two in this run now. After never, ever seeing one before. What's up with that? Okay, so we should do bonus damage to that guy, I guess. Are we actually doing more damage to that guy? Are we? I don't know if we actually are. Is our crit chance even up? Don't get hit. Oh, shoot. That's an 80% crit chance? There's no way that's an 80% crit chance. Right? No way in hell. <laughs> an enemy spawned on me? Oh, no. God, I... All right. Today is suddenly decided to do a lot of really frustrating things. He can... Sp enemies can spawn on you, I guess. Okay. Not something you often have to worry about in rooms due to the fact that there's not multiple waves. Those challenge rooms inherently have the multiple waves, too. Makes me a little concerned for... Um oh, thank God. Though, is it really even going to matter in the end? Probably not. Oh yo yo! I I think I could die, like for real. I think I could die. Just a couple of a couple of kind of frustrating hits, I guess. There is no way in hell we have eighty percent crit, right? Chan the chance is up 80%. It's not 80% chance to crit. Am I... Is that what it is? The chance is up 80% from what it was. It is not up to 80%. Is that... Is that how it is? I would have never upgraded it if that was the case. Because this item seems... It seems kind of actively bad. It seems like it might be a, a detrimental item to have, which is weird. Uh, it may be, like, like I said, unless there's some kind of special synergy in the game I don't know about, if that is literally just increasing the chance 
which I guess this is what it is, but I assumed it wasn't this because that'd be bad. Like, it'd be really weak. It, it straight up actually is just increasing it from whatever it is, like 5%. We're out of keys. That makes sense. Whatever, like 5% or to, you know, <laughs> to 9%. Which that's, you know, it's not that that's not a good jump. But if we're decreasing our base, our base damage by 20%, that's bad. If it decreased our crit damage only by that much, if that's what it is, then I guess that that is, like, I'm hoping that's what it is. I think that there's just, like, a little bit of a clarification issue with this one that I'm not quite... Chance, the higher chance of occurring... I, I, get, I get that now. After trying it out, I'm assuming that that means 80% chance for it to happen so increasing from like five percent to, to nine percent the damage i'm i i think might be base damage decrease because i could have sworn we had plus 20 percent if that is the case then this is a bad item like a four percent crit increase crit chance increase for a 20 percent flat base damage reduction that's if that's the case that's a bad item the luck percent i don't know what that even does for us i'm not sure it could be good uh, this item, if you make it so the damage penalty is strictly on the, the crits, sure. That's a, maybe it's a item I probably, <laughs> that I would maybe take. I could be, I could have a fundamental misunderstanding of this item though. We are definitely not critting 80% of the time. Oh God. I think we might, I think we might die. I think we are going to die. Okay. Thing number two about this boss fight that bothers me. God, we're running into so many more problems today than we normally do. Uh, I, it feels weird that those daggers do damage on, on, on contact. Like, I get while they're coming out, but when they're on the ground, it doesn't feel right. All right. I'm so tilted. Oh, man. I'm getting so tilted. I'm, I'm going to die. I'm making that very clear right now. Unless we... Maybe if we... Maybe if we focus up really, really tight here. I... I don't... I do not like that that does damage on contact. It doesn't feel visually correct. Oh, God, I just... Oh, man. Ooh, I don't feel good today after that run. I don't feel I don't feel good about that run. Eh. Yikes. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Bad runs happen. I think Poker Chip is a very bad item, potentially. I could be wrong. But I think that that item actually may make you weaker by picking it up. If, I, if I'm understanding it correctly. Uh, and then I guess I just got hit a couple times and I got really tilted from that i i just felt i don't know i don't know try not to i don't want to i'm not, definitely not bad trying to bad mouth nothing these are all things that'll almost certainly get changed at some point you know uh but yeah poker chip needs work i guess unless i'm misunderstanding it correctly and we just were weak third guarding is not like the other two it's not a perversion of a single organism but rather a collection of wisps They've gone mad, frozen in the ice, and they'll do whatever it takes to be free. They are the embodiment of ice-cold desperation. Look, child, another flower. Aren't they lovely? And for you, a gift. Yeah, we went from perfecting the second zone to just losing all of our health at once, basically. Oh. Oh, my heart is broken from that run. Oh, my heart is broken. Yike. All right. Let's see. 27... Do we finally get the ba fake bill? Let's get the fake bill. And then we will also get... Fairy Dust, it costs 12, and it's right here. Good stuff. We'll be back at it again. I'm sure we'll win tomorrow. Uh, the the extra waves... It only happened, like, three times... Twice? It only happened twice over the course of the entire run, so it's really not that big of a change, I don't think. Uh, the one time... Or the first time it happened, it was just kind of beneficial, really. The second time it happened... Uh, we were just doing such a small amount of damage 
I, which I, I'm saying, I will repeat again, I guess is, I guess is because of poker chip, unless I don't understand some other reason why we're, we were just doing really bad damage. Uh, so we kind of just got completely swarmed there. And then the boss fight, I just got tilted because I, yeah, I, I was already, I was already pre-tilted when we walked in and then that thing where you take contact damage from the dagger where it doesn't really feel like you should because it's kind of like, it's stuck in the ground and it's kind of sitting there. Maybe, like, does, maybe if it had a visual cue that it was still kind of dangerous in some kind of way, maybe then it would be a different story. Uh, because it's like, there's something about it sitting there that it doesn't feel, it does not feel like a threat that it's there. You know, like, if there's a dagger that's stuck in the floor, for example, you know, in real life. Like, and it's sharp pointy side down, you know. You're not like, oop, I shouldn't step on that. It'll pierce my foot, you know, if it's in the ground. I mean, and how often is that, like, a really a thing in real life? Probably not very frequent, I hope, for you, but I don't know. Yeah, so so maybe if it was, like, if it had some visual, maybe. But I almost think that it just doesn't need to do contact damage at all, to be honest, uh, personally. But anywho, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I will be back for a victory tomorrow. I'm sure I will. We we will, until I get clarification on Poker Chip or it gets buffed, I, I think it's just something I'm never going to ever take. Because the two times I've had it, it I felt like I've gotten so much weaker. Like the second I picked it up. So I'm, I'm not interested in taking that anymore. Unless we have some item that's like... Hell, probably not even if we get some item that benefits from crits. Because... Yeah, like I, because I, I'm just like I'm I'm processing this item, and I'm like, I I think it would be good if you had eighty percent eighty percent chance to crit and a twenty percent base damage reduction. <laughs> I think it would be okay then. And even then, I'm like I don't know, but it's just like a it's like a four percent increase, you know? That's not the or I don't know. I made the five percent crit chance up off my uh, the top of my head there. It's probably not that low, probably like ten percent. I, I shouldn't be continually saying like a 4% increase because I just made that number up. But you know what I'm saying. It's, we'll see, we'll see. There's a couple items that are definitely on the no-take list. That that being one of them for sure right now. Thank you but for watching though. Thank you but for watching indeed. Dude, I, I, I love this game. Still get it. Don't like, do not take this. This is early access. These things are very subject to change and almost certainly will be tweaked in some regard. Uh, so it's really nothing, you know, it's not, nothing uh, truly negative because I know these things will be ironed out and hashed out over the course of time. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.